An isochoric or isovolumetric process, by definition, means the volume stays a constant. For example, I have a sealed, gas-filled container with rigid walls. I can heat this gas up or cool it down. The volume of the gas would stay the same, so the process is isochoric. Of course, you may remember that if we heat up a container, the container does expand too, even if it has rigid walls. However, it is not unreasonable for us to ignore the expansion of the container here, because the coefficient of volume expansion beta is much bigger for gases than for solids. For example, near 20 degrees Celsius, the beta for normal glass is 27 times 10 to the negative 6. The beta for brass is 56 times 10 to the negative 6. But the beta for air is a much bigger 3400 times 10 to the negative 6. If we plot an isochoric process on a PV diagram, which of those lines could be a match? Since the volume has to stay a constant, it must be a vertical line, either A to D or D to A. If the gas is heated up, the pressure would increase, so it will be D to A. If the gas is cooled down, the pressure would decrease, and therefore it will be A to D. Either way, what do you think is the work done on the gas in an isochoric process? Since the work done on the gas is the area of a PV diagram, and this PV diagram is a vertical line, which means uh, there is no area underneath, so the work done on the gas would be zero, whether it's A to D or D to A. Another way to look at this is that the force from the wall on the gas is uh, pushed inward and there is a force pushing on the gas from the environment, from the container, but there is no displacement. If there is no displacement, there is no work done. So if we have an isochoric process, if the volume doesn't change, the work done on the gas is zero.